that holy rap Dad, cause I can do this all day though My homies call me Thanos Cause that brother only Well, hey guys, welcome back to another beautiful, amazing, whatever you want to call it video, guys This is the You Retreat vlog that I've been trying to upload This is day one Day two and day three will be coming soon, guys And I just hope you enjoy the clips I'm gonna try that other side it's time to wake up, we gotta get up. What time we gotta wake up? We pay back. Seven. Seven. Yeah, I'm up at seven? You gotta wake up at like six. Yeah, what's up? Let's have a pick. What is it right there? No, devotion. Morning devotion. We're about to set. Yeah, what's the name of it? Bro, come on. So we got some pictures. I'm gonna show you. Saturday. Two just past session, yeah. Or Sunday. So today we gotta be down there about what? Four. Five. Five. Four o'clock, we gotta be down right back downstairs. So, or spirit. Right? So, we're gonna begin. Alright, go to somebody. Come on, Joshua, it ain't deep. No, it's not. Real face. Don't say that, it's not. Thank you so much for participating. All right, so I'm going to ask one question um, regarding the theme. Do you guys know the meaning of the theme? The word align. What does it mean? Working together. All right. What's a fit together? All right. Yes, Brandy. To connect. All right, so that's the meaning we're going to be using for this exercise. To align means to agree, all right? So before we touch this, this is gonna be the last portion of the exercise. We're gonna explain to you each category, the body, the soul, and the spirit. And then we're gonna have another exercise. And after that exercise, you guys are gonna come back up here and tell me if you think the answers that you have you have up here now if they're correct based on our soul is our mind will and emotions this is the part where we think and feel it's where we plan and organize the part of us that stays focused or gets distracted our souls feel pleasure or perceives hurt from others our soul, our soul can be energized or discouraged it's where we form words to communicate with others it's where our personality comes to life it is in our soul that we become anxious or we rest peacefully. It's where we worry about bad things or meditate on good things. Anybody understood that? Yeah. Basically, the soul, is, um, the soul is how your emotions will show. Okay. And then now, let's move on to the spirit. So our spirits are intangible and usually have no direct manifestation in the physical world. All right, so this part often gets overlooked, as we can see, um, and it's oftentimes discounted. Um, so our spirit identify the spirit of God, okay? Um, God, the spirit of God resides in our spirit, and our spirit comes there. Upon accepting the payment that Jesus made for our sins, that's when we have accepted God's spirit to reside in us. So the Bible teaches us that our spirit is made perfect and sealed in the moment that we are born again. So I know that in scripture we oftentimes read about like the fruit of the spirit, right? You guys hear that scripture a lot, the fruit of the spirit of God, 12 of them, right? Okay. And then we oftentimes also hear people re make reference to the Spirit of God, right? But a lot of times we don't really understand what it means. So we're gonna have one other um, demonstration to demonstrate how the Spirit of God operates in us and through us, right? And then how it all works in alignment with our body, soul, and the Spirit. And Joshua is gonna represent God. So we're gonna play the game of Chinese telephone. So the Spirit of God is gonna give direction to our spirit. It's the spirit responsibility to relate it to the soul. And it's the soul's responsibility to relate it to the body. All right? Yeah. 
So the message was received. What was the message? Take two steps to the left. All right, I need you to stand right here, just like this, between both. Joshua is going to give instruction again. prevent us from receiving the message that God has given our spirit. Now, that barrier can be so many different things. It could be a lack of, of relationship with God, so you're not reading your word, you're not praying. It could also be you just being stuck in your own mind. So you're so stuck on, you know, your own emotions, your own feelings, what's happening at home, what's happening at school, that you're not even recognizing that a message is trying to be relate to you so that the body would know how to move and the definitions that you guys were given earlier i need you to take a look at this and tell me if you believe that everything is in its correct place all right so i need you guys to come on up and try to fix it all the blues over the spirit does everybody agree with that? The, the blue, why? Because what? Why are these words going to the spirit? Why can't they go to the soul? Love is an emotion. Right? Peace is a feeling. They're fruits of the ah, okay. All right, so. Oh, it's God. I'm fine. Okay, what about the. Somebody said, wait, surprise, go to soul. Who said that? All right, so somebody isn't quite clear. Now I need someone to explain to me why the surprise go to the soul. It's an emotion, it's a feeling, all right? So the soul deals with all our emotions, our feelings, our mind, our conscience, right? So surprise is a feeling, it's an emotion, all right? Does this stay here? Yes. Why? It's physical, right? So these are all our senses. Bells, body. All right. A good job, guys. Man, can we give it up for Shanice, Chris, and Kim? Everybody good? Yeah. Doesn't it feel good that you didn't have to just rush like last year? Rush to service, rush to eat. No, I'm the only one. I got some time to wine, unwind, and relax. Good. Let's see your left, let's see your right. <laughs> Look behind you. Do you see someone you do not know? Find someone, introduce yourself. Come, let's do this quick. Oh, me. Amen. You know what it took for me to get here? Everything that could go wrong went wrong. But it didn't prosper. Yeah. Yeah. His blood, yeah. his grace with it. Be a little different. 
Then reads on this one, as Jesus was coming near Jericho, there was a blind man sitting by the road begging. And when he heard the crowd passing by, he asked, what is this? Jesus of Nazareth is passing by, they told him, and he cried out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. The people in front scolded him and told him, be quiet. But he shouted even more loudly, son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus stopped and ordered that the blind man be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do? And Jesus answered him and said, I, and he answered him and said, I want to see again. And Jesus said to him, then see, your faith has made you well. And at once he was able to see, and he followed Jesus, giving thanks to God. And when the crowd saw it, they all praised God. First we're talking for this weekend. What do you want God to do? Think about it. Start thinking about it. What do you want God to do? Ten more seconds. What do you want God to do? Here in our text, we have this blind beggar. He's in need of something. Right, and this is why we're here. This is why I came. I know I'm the guest, but I came because I'm in need of something. Yeah. I'm in need of something. And there's this beggar here in the text that's in need of something. He needs to be rescued. Somebody shout rescue. He needs to be rescued. Rescue is defined as the act of saving distress or danger, being released, being redeemed, being liberated, being delivered, being assisted or helped. Somebody shout rescue. rescue. Here in our text, we don't just find a, a, a beggar, but we find a blind beggar. He's not just a blind beggar, sis. He's an insightful blind beggar. He's begging. But he Say help. 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 He needs help. Now we know anything about beggars and same as it was during this time, it is today. Beggars are usually found in cities. Beggars were usually found at the gates of the city where people were passing in and out. And here in our text, we find this blind man that Mark identifies as Bartimaeus. No one really knows how. Bartimaeus has been blind. Some scholars suggest that he's been blind all his life. He needs help. For all of his life, he's been without visual contact, uh, without visual contact with his environment, without visual contact with his surroundings. Sitting on a roadside, somebody say begging. Begging. He's begging. Now, if we know anything, about blindness, and let's 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 chalk this out. It's a real quick story, and then we are gonna go into what it is that God is gonna do. Right, blindness, right, and disease of the eye was common, was a common illness in the ancient world. Common, right? Common to be blind, right? It was a common illness, and during these times, people believed that handicapped or diseased individuals were cursed by God for either sin that they did or their parents did. Somebody shout, who sinned? Who sinned? Who sinned, right? So it's during these times, right? In this time, this ancient time, he's blind, he's begging, but he has no resources. It's not like today where, where if you're blind, you have all kinds of services. You got SSI, you can get a Sessori, you can get a reduced fare retro car, you can get a dog, you can get a home health aid, you can get meals on wheels, whatever else you get. The 50s. Yeah. <laughs> you are here tonight. You need something from God. I'm dying. I told you this is a pep talk. I'll be back tomorrow. What do you want God to do? I was on time. Whoever said that I love, I was on time. <laughs> What do you want God to do? We're standing all over the building. I told you I was a quick pep talk. 
That's the end of um, You Retrieve Vlog Day 1. Day 2 will be coming soon, so just look out for that. Don't don't forget to please like, subscribe. Peace. Adios. Cause I can do this all day though. My homies call me Thanos. Cause that brother.